Welcome back everybody. This is Eric here with Iraq Veteran 8888. Today we're going to be making our man can announcement and unboxing our honoring veterans can. Uh, this is the can that's going out here in October, the month we're in right now. And uh, a lot of guys ask about man cans. Uh, man cans is a merchandise box that we sell that's a mystery box. And we have three different tiers that you can get into. And basically we announce a theme. You guys pre-order the box in the given tier. And then you get a box of really cool stuff. Uh, for the following month, uh, that embraces the theme that we select. Uh, the theme that's currently being sold right now, as, as of the making of this video, is our medic uh, theme, medical preparedness, and that's going to have a lot of really useful first aid stuff. I've seen some of the items that are going in that box, really, really useful stuff. I think you guys are going to be very happy with that. And then obviously, uh, that can won't be available much longer, and then we're going to have to switch over to selling December's can. And you'll know on the website, guys, when you go on there and you buy a man can, you'll see which one's for sale. That's the one you're ordering, just so there's no confusion. And then we'll get into the gift of gun uh, man can that'll be going up uh, for December. And what we're going to do for gift of gun, and, and just to kind of lay you know a little bit of uh, brain food in there for you, uh, we are going to be doing an EDC-inspired gift of gun uh, man can for December. So uh, we're probably going to be working with some type of a piece of cutlery and some other cool things. I can't really divulge too much just yet, but it'll be really cool stuff. No gimmicks, no bull crap. We're going to stick to useful things uh, that we hope you guys will find really cool. And we've been getting a lot of feedback from folks on man cans in terms of what you want to see and the items that you want to see. And uh, we, we read you loud and clear. We want to make sure you're getting things that make you happy. And uh, we've been doing the, the whole man box thing for quite a while. And uh, we're the first people to do a box like this. So it's important to us that we remain true to that cause and that our fans who are supporting us through the purchase of these boxes are getting things that make them happy, right? Because at the end of the day, yeah, you guys are basically a customer when you buy a box, but you're more than that. If you watch the videos and you're, you're buying the boxes to help support the channel, it's very important to us that you guys are happy. We want you to consume the content and be happy with the content, but we also want you to be happy getting the box as well. So that's very important to us. Um, you know, basically, when it comes to Patreon support, a lot of folks support us on Patreon. They purchase uh, shirts and other merch on the store, or they purchase man cans each month. All of those funds go right back into supporting the channel. Uh, so shameless plug there. I'm not trying to be Billy Mays on you guys, but I'm just saying if you love the channel and you love what we do and you want to support what we do, that's the most direct way that you can support our channel is by purchasing a man can, donating a few bucks on Patreon, or going on there and buying a hat or a shirt or other piece of merchandise uh, that's for sale on our website. Um, so shameless plug there. But anyway, we're going to unbox the can. Uh, this Brandy really knocked this one out of the park. I was so happy with this box when she showed me the things that we came up with. And she came to me with some ideas, but really this is Brandy's doing. And uh, this is our veterans box that we're unboxing now. And then again, to reiterate, the medical box is the one that's for sale right now. Not for much longer. And then we'll switch over to the gift of gun box which will be available uh, probably within the next week or so, okay? All right, uh, we're gonna unbox this bad boy here. And I'm telling you, Brandy did a great job with this box. It's a huge box, by the way. I am so happy with this box, and I, I hope you guys are gonna be too, because uh, Brandy really put a heck of a lot of, of time and work into this box, and I hope you guys really like it. All right, so for the regular box, again, to discuss the tiers again, you have a $30 tier, a $60 tier, and a $100 tier. When you buy the upper tier, you use, unless we specifically specify, you get all the items in the lower tier. So if you bought, let's say, the Mega Man Up can, you get all the Mega items as well as the Man Up items and the regular items. And the reason we offer different tiers is because some people want to buy a little bit more or they, you know, they want to spend a little more. Some folks may not want to spend only $30. So we try to offer a little bit of something for everybody. So anyway, we've got the we've got the a patch, okay? That's from Voodoo Tactical PVC morale patch. All right, that's that's very patriotic. All right, and it says right here, uh, Brandy wrote down either a POW or a vinyl flag. So I think that it, it's a luck of the draw in terms of which one you get. I don't know if maybe it was just a numbers thing. They didn't have as many patches, but we ordered uh, some of the POW patches as well as the American flag patches, and you will receive one of 
one of these and you'll get luck of the draw. Both are awesome patches, uh, obviously uh, very classic patches. The POW is, uh, the, the M POW MIA is something that's very important to a lot of us. You know, we, we don't forget about the, the folks that get, you know, missing or, or in prison. So that's, that's very, very important. All right. We got a Voodoo Tactical hat, okay, with the morale patch on it, okay, very cool. We've got a shirt. Now, a lot of you guys knew going into this one uh, that when you were ordering this box that we were doing a shirt. So this is the shirt that we did. Freedom has a price. All gave some, some gave all. And it's got the American flag, uh, memorial, um, M16 with the dog tags hanging from it, which is... You know, when, it, when a soldier passes away in theater, that's a common thing. And you can see some troops going into, into combat down here. And we got a very subdued and, and very uh, kind of hidden Iraq veteran logo down there just for fun. I mean, people that know about us, I mean, it's kind of there. It's a little Easter egg. But we didn't want it to, you know, mess with the, the flow of the shirt. Now, I've got something special to say about this, uh, this shirt. The shirt is a great shirt. And uh, I... I I've got something kind of really, really special that I want to announce in this video, and I'm, I'm not ready to really let the, the entire cat out of the bag just yet when it comes to uh, the shirts, but it was, it was such a, an odd streak of luck and irony that uh, my buddy Matt approached me about shirts, and uh, he recently took over his family's t-shirt business, and he's right here in the same state we are, and we served in Iraq together. So it's just the weird thing, you know, when he's calling me and he's like, hey, uh, I'm doing shirts. Let's do some shirts. And we kind of got to talking as friends usually do. And I think that um, we're going to be doing a lot more with Matt and his family in terms of the shirts. So when you purchase this man can, this particular box, you actually supported not only us, which is a veteran owned and operated company, but you also supported Matt's family being a veteran owned and operated company. And I think that was so cool that literally we served together and here we are serving the people in a way, like we're putting stuff out for folks, which I thought was just such a cool thing that we were able to do together. I'm not gonna let the cat out of the bag yet. I'll get Matt down and we'll do a video together and we'll discuss more of the shirts and stuff. But we are gonna be doing more shirts with Matt and the quality of these shirts is excellent. They're very, he used really good shirts for these, the Gildan Hammers, great shirts. All right. And that was a complaint that we got from some of you that you weren't happy with some of the shirts we were using. So we want to make sure we use a good, robust shirt for you. Anyway, all right. And then the last thing for the regular is a mug. All right, we had these mugs made, like kind of a campfire, hanging out, doing your thing, you know, kind of just basically camping mug, right? And it says, Veterans Day, honoring all who served. Thank you. So that's a really cool thing. You can take a splash of coffee or... You know, some of you may take a little bit more in your coffee uh, than just coffee, but if you wish, uh, that that's option is available to you. So you got the, the hat, the shirt, the mug, and the patch uh, for the regular cam, which is awesome. All right, for the man up, all right, now we're getting more into like veterans territory in terms of like, okay, some of you guys are vets and you ordered the cam because, you know, you want to be supportive of other vets and things like that. Some of you guys just want to honor vets that you know and you hang around and things like that. So what better way to do that than to let some of these items embrace like some of the common items that us vets steal from Uncle Sam. So that's what we decided to do is uh, include some items that are commonly uh, sort of walk off post, if you know what I mean. All right. What better way, right? All right. So man up. We did a Shema. Okay. That's basically your... Uh, you know, it is, it's awesome. It's actually got, it's actually got AR-15s on it. Isn't that the coolest thing ever? All right. And you know, a thing like this, guys, you can use these for a wide variety of different uh, purposes. But you know, a lot, of, a lot of guys will wrap them around or they'll try to, you know, cover their face and things like that. So th these are useful for keeping sand and dirt and odds and ends out of your face. And this is a common sort of traditional item that is used over in the Middle East to, you know, as a face garment and as a, you know, a field garment, like working out in the fields and keeping the sand and things out of your eyes. That is really, really cool. And I love the fact that it's got the little M16s on it. So we did a Shema for you guys. And you also get a canteen. 
so you're out in the field working, doing your thing, or you're out hunting or whatever, and you got like a real deal mil spec Alice clip canteen. Okay, that little pouch right there is actually intended for like purification tablets. You can put your little water purification tabs, and you got you a one quart, one quart canteen. Very cool. All right, so that was a man up. All right, the Mega Man up. A mil spec poncho liner, mil spec plus GI adventure gear. All right, so you got a mil spec poncho liner. And uh, guys, I can't tell you how often I use these dang poncho liners. I use them for hunting. You know, I, I still like, you have them in my bed. You know, sometimes I sleep with them. Sometimes my dogs sleep with them. Our dogs love these poncho liners, especially if it's something that's got your smell on it. Your dogs love these things. The, these poncho liners have so many different uses, and this one even comes with a little compression sack. So that's very, very handy for being able to, you know, compress this thing down and stuff it in your three-day pack, or if you just want to take it, you know, put it in your hunting bag or whatever. This is an indispensable piece of gear that commonly walks off uh, with service members. Uh, you know, a lot of guys, oh, turn in your poncho liner. I don't know what happened to it. I think it got too dirty and I had to, do, you know, throw it away. And that's generally what happens. But poncho liner, very useful. Um, I know a lot of times when I'm hunting in like a two-person blind or a single-person uh, hunt uh, ladder stand, deer hunting, I like to take my poncho liner with me and I'll literally wrap it around my body and tie it. And when I get to where I'm going, I'll take my poncho liner and I'll just take like some little clips or something, like whether it's like a chip bag clip or something like that or anything, some type of little clip. And I'll just clip the poncho liner around the outside of the ladder stand and a little shooting rest and it kind of closes it in a little bit where you can move your feet a little bit move your hands gives you a little bit more freedom of movement and kind of hides you a bit so that's what I, I like to use poncho liner for all right in addition to the poncho liner this is my favorite item by far and I'm telling you this this is this is an item that walks off that this is probably one of the most commonly stolen <laughs> I hate to say it, but this is one of the most commonly stolen items from the military. Guys, I'm not kidding. Are these mechanics tool bags. Okay. So if you bought the Mega, you get a mechanics tool bag. Now, I can't tell you how many people, I'm telling you, these bags are awesome. They work for a wide variety of different things. You can put tools in them. You can put your gun gear in them. You can use them as a little range bag. They've got a really sturdy, hard bottom. So if you, you could put probably, no telling how much 22 ammo in here, you could use it to house your ammunition and things. Uh, you know, ammo packs, what have you, suppressor parts, whatever you want. The, these bags are, are great and they kind of collapse. So when you're not using them, they sort of break down into a more compact space, which is really, really cool. Okay, so all the mega guys are getting the mechanics bag. Some of you are very, very lucky because we upgraded you guys to the tanker bag because we ran a little bit short on the mechanics bags, okay? And I think we did some of them in black and some of them in green. So some of you are gonna get OD green, some of you are gonna get black. Some of you got up upgraded to the tanker's tool bag. So this is even bigger because obviously to work on tanks, you gotta have bigger tools, right? So let's, let's check this thing out. So the tanker's tool bag is basically the same thing as the standard, look, I'm just going to get this out of the way. Basically the same thing as the mechanic's tool bag, but just physically bigger. Okay. So that's even got room for like drills and odds and ends. And I mean, they also have this front pouch on them. Okay. Which is really cool. Bo both of the bags have a front pouch, actually a pouch on each side. So for your small Allen keys and whatnot, you can put your Allen key sets and other small tools on the side pouches. So some of you get the tanker's bag and some of you get the mechanic's bag. So that is our vet Honoring Veterans uh, box here. I'm just gonna make sure I didn't miss anything. I have to go off a cheat sheet because you know I got the mental capacity of a gnat. I can't remember nothing, okay? Um, but that's a pretty awesome box. That's a lot of useful stuff, so you know, I'm, I'm very, very happy with what we did here. And, and there's also one more little bonus thing 
uh, that, that I didn't mention. Some of you guys that ordered the veterans box specified in the comment section, you guys said, hey, I'm a vet. Uh, I'm a Marine Corps vet. Or I'm buying this for my dad who's a Marine Corps veteran. Or, hey, um, you know, I was a medic in the Army back in the 80s. Thanks for the support, guys. Uh, you know, whatever. Some of you left comments about your branch of service or who you're bought it, buying it for. So we ordered patches for all of you guys that are specific to the branch that you mentioned in the comment section. So if some of you guys said, hey, uh, I was serving up in Canada. Uh, appreciate the support, guys. And you ordered a man can. I'm sending you a, a Canada specific patch. Or if you're a medic, I'm sending you a medic-specific patch. If you're a Marine Corps, I'm sending you a Marine Corps-specific patch. Brandy and I thought that that would be important to do for you guys that, that took the time to specifically comment about your branch of service. Um, it's a small token of thanks from my family to you for your service. Uh, and, you know, it's just one little bit of value that we add to the box. But thank you guys um, that specifically commented about your branch of service. That's really awesome. Uh, so we try to, you know, do little Easter eggs like that from time to time uh, for people. So um, thank you guys so much for the support. You know, uh, my family and I, we're literally living the American dream in every way, shape, and form. When you guys purchase a man can, you're supporting my family, Chad's family, John's family. And now, you know, when you do shirts, when we do shirts through man cans or if we do shirts through the shop, those funds also support Matt's family and he and I serve together. So it's really weird in retrospect to kind of look back on things that have happened and the relationships you, you know, you have with people and the relationships you develop and see where things wind up going. And it's just sometimes I have to just look at things in a way that it's, it's almost like I have to pinch myself and wonder if it's some dream I'm going to wake up from because that's how it feels. And you guys are, are very much responsible uh, for that, you know, I get to make gun videos and I get to, you know, fight for the Second Amendment and I get to be engaged politically to do what I can to fight for the Second Amendment and to promote people that do. And we get to make fun gun videos. And it's all because you guys support us. So thank you very much. I know I say it all the time, but all of our Patreon supporters, you guys are great. Thank you for donating on Patreon. Thank you for purchasing man cans because it goes right back into supporting these videos and keeping us uh, liquid so that we can move on and make videos for you guys. Also, merch and shirts through the shop, anything you buy, all the funds we earn go right back into supporting the channel, right back into fighting for the Second Amendment. This is how we, you know, make a living. So you guys are awesome. Thank you for recognizing that. And thank you for recognizing the importance of our content and choosing to support us through the purchase of a man can. It means a lot to me and my family. So uh, you guys are awesome. Thank you very much. I didn't mean for this video to go on very long, but I really wanted, especially for this particular box, I wanted to give special thanks to some of those folks and also to Matt and his family who put these shirts together in a ridiculous, ridiculous time frame. Like what I asked of him was Looney Tunes crazy and he made it happen. So thanks to Matt and his family for putting together the shirt. It's awesome. We love it. Thank you very much. And we're going to be doing more stuff together. Um, thank you guys very much for the support. Uh, thank you for watching. We have many more videos on the way. Some hunting stuff coming up. We've been working our butt off trying to get some hunting stuff together for you. We've actually taken two deer with the Norwegian Kamalwater. So expect a video on that. Uh, we've got many more meltdowns and gun gripes, uh, more gunsmithing stuff, reloading, commentary. Uh, we do so many random things and we appreciate you guys for being a part of that. I know I say it a lot, uh, but thank you guys very much. We'll see you next time and uh, have yourselves a great day.